Welcome to AKA's webinar. I'm Tom Berger, Vice President of AKA's Financial Services Practice. Today's webinar will be about expanding into new markets, how a wealth management firm increased their assets under management and grew internationally. Before we begin, however, a brief introduction on AK Enterprise Solutions. We are a cloud consultancy having worked with Microsoft Dynamics for over 25 years. We have about 250 plus clients. We're Microsoft Gold Certified in Enterprise Resource Planning and Customer Relationship Management. One of our principal focus areas is the financial services vertical where we work primarily with asset and wealth management firms. Lastly, but most importantly, we are 100% dynamics based. Presenting today will be Bradley Monet. Bradley is one of our senior financial services solution architects. Having worked in the industry for over 13 years, Bradley started his career at a broker dealer. Brad, take it away, please. Thanks, Tom. The case study that I'm presenting today is for a mega RAA slash wealth manager that is based in San Francisco, CA, with approximately $77 billion in assets under management. Jumping back to a few years ago, they were currently sitting around 50 to $60 billion in assets under management, and despite having a solid brand image and a proven track record of returns, they sensed a stagnation in their growth in their domestic market. And they realized that they needed to expand to new markets because they were, had largely exhausted their book of business in the, in the United States. So the company launched a pilot program in the UK to expand their overall client base uh, and AUM. After seeing great success in this in initiative, it became very clear that they wanted to expand into global markets, specifically the EU and Asia PAC. Upon evaluating their own internal operations, and evaluating their ability to uh, scale, they realized that their technology platform and their stack that they were using did not have the ability to move into these um, new markets to account for multi-currency, multi-region, uh, multiple lines of business, and the multiple processes that would be needed to support such a global oper operation. Additionally, with this planned expansion, they wanted to take their current 900 employees and grow that to roughly 1,500 to 2,000 employees. So with this rapid uh, expansion, they knew they needed to move to a newer platform that could support a larger user base and again uh, align all these multiple processes um, to the multiple regions they were moving into. With this in mind, the major projects of the driver of the project were one, to centralize the system to all their lines of business across various regions across the world. Two, was to create a tight security model with controls specifically around client data to adhere to both industry regulations in the multiple countries they were planning on expanding into, as well as the internal controls to protect their book of business from potentially malicious employees. Three, they wanted to have a system that was scalable and extensible so that they could grow and build towards the future. They did not want to have another spot solution. And finally, they wanted to have an enterprise reporting across their multiple lines of business and have a single application that gave them a full view of their business. So how did we get there? Looking at the legacy system that they had, the following limitations really held them back from being able to expand. Namely, their legacy system, Onyx, the UI was very clicky and did not allow them to have an intuitive user experience. Training for new employees often took months, and the ability for them to scale and grow out their employee base from 900 to the planned 1,500 employees um, was limited based on the technology in and of itself. Secondly, their systems were disparate and were not linked together, and users would ha often have to use dozens of applications in order to properly service their client base. And from a technology perspective and platform, uh, they were very limited in their ability to add new fields and objects into the system, improve or change existing processes, and give the users a guided way of knowing how to do their job uh, for a specific process. And worst of all, the technology platform became unsupported, so new emerging technologies were not incorporated into the platform and limited their business's ability to grow. These major uh, challenges um, 
were also compounded by the sheer complexity of their current state application. They had over 50 plus integrations, 750 million reports to migrate, and that being said created a very complex project, but I won't go into detail uh, into the overall complexity of the project and what it took to, to uh, implement that. So what was the solution that we built? The team built a solution that was really focused on the future and scalability. The team migrated from an old platform with a focus on the following things. First, having a stream, streamlined UI with less clicks and KPIs on the screen that was built into the application. Being able to see more information when it is needed based on the types of processes or operations provided a smoother end user experience and reduced onboarding and trading time, thus re re reducing their overall onboarding costs. Secondly, the solution was built on scalability and extensibility. It was built to support over 50 plus uh, integrations and over 750 records with the ability to scan uh, uh, quickly scale to new integrations and the ever-growing data set that they maintained. Um, the system was also uh, set up for uh, the ability to add on new line of businesses. Uh, specifically, they were looking at implementing a lightweight robo-advisor service and also offering tax advisory services. The system was also uh, built to uh, scale for multi-currency and multi-country. Lastly, from a sheer complexity standpoint, the team was able to deploy this platform with zero business time across all their global regions. And this was a great accomplishment both for AKA and the client. And Tom, I'll pass it back to you. Great. Thank you, Brad, for that illustration of how an RIA was able to take their business, which was stagnating in the U.S., and expand internationally and see great growth. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact me or Brad at the information listed here on the screen. Thanks, and have a great day.